What is going on guys? Bringing y'all another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing something that I didn't really want to do at first, but I'm gonna just go ahead and do it because, you know, what the heck? So today's video, I'm gonna be cranking up the torsion keys on my Denali. Now this is a very frowned upon thing to do because it makes the ride quality worse. Now obviously the back of the truck is way higher than the front. So I wanna crank them up just a little bit. I know it's not gonna level it out just because of the difference between how high the back is sitting and the front. It's also not on level ground, but I can promise you it sits way lower in the front. Like I said, I know it's not on flat ground. There is no flat ground around here. But uh, we're just gonna go ahead and break out the measuring tape anyway. Where it's sitting right now, the back is about 11 and a half. The front, we're looking about eight and a half. Big difference there. I do plan on getting a leveling kit for this truck, so this is just gonna be temporary once I throw leveling keys on there and some new control arms and stuff. Probably crank it back down. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get under there and first I'm gonna jack up get the weight of the truck off of everything and then we're gonna go turn by turn uh, one rotation at a time and see what happens a breaker bar and a socket it should be all you need if you're wondering what size it is it is a 21 millimeter so we're gonna get this cranked up that's one turn, that's two, three, hell, I'm gonna go four, screw it. That's four. One, four. That would look awesome if it sat like that. All right, I'm gonna lower it down, see what it's at now. it make a big difference whatsoever. I can't even tell if it made a difference. A little over nine and a half, so. I think it went up like an inch, maybe. I'm gonna measure the other side real quick. I'm gonna turn them a little bit more, then I'm probably just gonna leave it alone. One. All right, I feel like I can see a slight difference now. We're at about 10 inches right there. That's pretty good. Obviously, it's probably gonna settle down too, so it's probably not gonna be that high anyway. I'm about to move it real quick and see. Try to get on. Try to get in a better spot, you know. Somewhere maybe a little more level. All right, guys. Here it is. After obviously it is still raking, but I could definitely tell a difference just because you know it's my truck. But uh, yeah, it definitely looks a lot better. It's still raking, like I said, but we can live with that. But. Yeah, it made the truck look a lot better. Obviously, once I get a level on there, it'll look really, really good. But for now, I mean, come on. That looks pretty dang good, I ain't gonna lie. I can definitely tell a difference because I drive the truck every day. Sometimes a little bit makes a big difference, you know? Now it's about to rain again. It rained a little bit earlier. I can't stand when it rains. Dude, my garage is a mess. Dang, I need to clean up in here bad. I was trying to cut grass. I hit a stump and it broke part of my deck over here. So I had to hurry up and kind of weld it back together. It just like separated like this. So I just squeezed it back together and sprayed a little MIG on there. A little 50, dude. I wish this thing ran better. like crap but I'm not gonna lie that thing's pretty fun to ride around on oh my god blue blue 42 set put you can tell I never played football
Now that's a combo right there, son. We got the old square body with the old boat. No motor on it. <laughs> I will carburate it. Oh, that belt is screaming some kind of bad. I done cut the grass behind this little boat, so I need to back it up anyway. One tire fire, dude. <laughs> this one, I really need to drive back and forth to work. But all right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I know it was kind of random at the end there. Didn't have anything to film, so. Yeah, y'all know what to do. Give me a thumbs up on the video. Comment any video suggestions down in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, obviously. We'll catch you in the next video.